Churches are not just places of worship. They are enduring symbols of culture, history, and architectural mastery. Across the world, Christianity has left an indelible mark, with churches standing as towering reminders of faith and community. These structures tell the stories of nations, serving as the heart of religious and communal life for centuries. From the intricate designs of cathedrals to the humble charm of local chapels, each church reflects the soul of the people who built them. In 2024, these ten countries lead the world in the number of churches, showcasing their deep spiritual roots and cultural significance, from the smallest villages to the largest cities. Stay with us as we count down the nations with the most churches and explore what makes each of them unique. Are you ready to explore? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. Number 10. Mexico Mexico, with its predominantly Catholic population, stands as a beacon of religious devotion. Catholicism has been at the center of Mexican society since the Spanish colonial era, profoundly influencing its cultural landscape. When the Spanish arrived in the 16th century, they introduced Catholicism, leading to the construction of grand churches, cathedrals, and chapels throughout the country. Many of these buildings remain today, serving as both religious and cultural treasures. One of the most iconic examples is the Metropolitan Cathedral in Mexico City. Built over a span of nearly 250 years, it stands as the largest cathedral in Latin America and a significant part of Mexico's national history. The intricate architecture, blending Baroque and Gothic styles, showcases the craftsmanship and devotion that went into its construction. But this is just one of the many remarkable churches found in Mexico. Beyond the grandeur of these cathedrals, churches in Mexico are deeply woven into the fabric of everyday life. In almost every city, town, or village, you'll find a church at its center, whether it's a towering cathedral or a humble chapel. These churches are more than just places for worship. They are hubs for community life, where families gather, celebrate, and mourn together. Religious celebrations and festivals, which are central to Mexican culture, also revolve around these churches. Perhaps the most famous of all is the Day of the Virgin of Guadalupe, a massive religious celebration held every December. This event draws millions of pilgrims to Mexico City's Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the most visited Catholic shrine in the world. The day honors the Virgin Mary's appearance to St. Juan Diego in 1531 and showcases the deep devotion Mexicans hold toward their faith. Churches across the country are filled with celebrations, processions, and vibrant displays of devotion during this time. In smaller towns, local festivals are equally important, often honoring a town's patron saint. These events typically begin with a special mass and procession through the streets, with the church at the center of the festivities. From weddings to baptisms and funerals, the church plays a crucial role in the life of every Mexican family. Mexico's churches are not just buildings. They are symbols of the country's rich religious heritage and continue to play an integral role in both spiritual and cultural life. While the numbers of churches are high, what truly makes Mexico stand out is the way its religious traditions are kept alive in every aspect of daily life. In 2024, as Mexico's population continues to grow, its churches remain at the heart of its cities and towns, serving as both places of worship and pillars of community identity. Whether through grand architectural marvels or small chapels, Mexico's churches are an essential part of the nation's past, present, and future. Number 9. Germany Germany stands out as a nation with a profound religious history, home to both Catholic and Protestant traditions. One of the most significant events in Christian history, the Protestant Reformation, began in Germany in the 16th century. Martin Luther, whose actions ignited this movement, fundamentally changed the course of Christianity, especially in Europe. This event wasn't just a theological shift. It influenced the architectural landscape as well resulting in the construction of numerous Protestant churches that still stand today. Germany's churches, like the Cologne Cathedral and Berlin Cathedral, 
are not only spiritual centers but also marvels of design. The Cologne Cathedral, for instance, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its towering spires and breathtaking Gothic architecture. With construction beginning in 1248, this cathedral took centuries to complete, symbolizing Germany's long-standing religious heritage. Its intricate stained glass windows, massive stone structures, and overwhelming scale have made it one of the most visited landmarks in Europe, attracting roughly 6 million tourists annually. Berlin Cathedral, on the other hand, is a stunning example of Baroque architecture. It is equally revered for its grandeur, standing as a symbol of the spiritual and cultural importance of churches in Germany. These buildings are more than just places for religious gatherings. They represent Germany's artistic, historical, and cultural wealth. What makes Germany particularly unique is that both the Protestant and Catholic churches continue to coexist and flourish. Germany remains committed to preserving its historical churches while also investing in the construction of new ones. This dedication ensures that Germany not only honors its religious past, but also sustains its future as a leader in the number of churches worldwide. Moreover, the country's vast diversity of churches, ranging from ancient monasteries and medieval cathedrals to modern-day churches, underscores the depth of its religious influence. In total, Germany is home to tens of thousands of churches, each a testament to the rich religious traditions that continue to thrive. With both its historical significance and the ongoing construction of new churches, Germany firmly holds its place among the countries with the most churches, blending past and present in a remarkable religious landscape. Number 8. Italy Italy stands at the very center of Christianity, housing Vatican City, the seat of the Roman Catholic Church. This deep religious significance has shaped Italy into one of the most historically and culturally rich countries in the world when it comes to churches. Italian churches are renowned for their breathtaking art, incredible history, and architectural magnificence. At the heart of it all is Saint, Peter's Basilica in Vatican City, the largest church in the world, and a powerful symbol of the Catholic faith. It is not just a religious site, but a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture, with contributions from some of the greatest artists in history, including Michelangelo and Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The Basilica's towering dome, grand colonnades, and awe-inspiring interior make it one of the most visited places on Earth, drawing millions of visitors and pilgrims each year. Beyond Vatican City, Italy's religious history is reflected in the iconic churches scattered throughout the country. Take the Florence Cathedral, for example, with its stunning red-tiled dome designed by Brunelleschi. This cathedral, also known as the Duomo di Firenze, dominates the skyline of Florence and is a shining example of Italian Gothic architecture, symbolizing the artistic and religious spirit of the Renaissance. In Rome, another jewel of religious architecture is the Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. As one of the largest Marian churches in the world, it features mosaics dating back to the 5th century and houses relics that are deeply revered by the Catholic faithful. The basilica represents the continuity of Christian worship from the early centuries of the church to modern times. The Milan Cathedral, Duomo di Milano, another iconic church, is the largest in Italy and the fifth largest in the world. This Gothic masterpiece took over six centuries to complete, with its intricate spires and statues creating one of the most recognizable and dramatic facades in Europe. Inside, visitors are met with a stunning array of stained glass windows, sculptures, and altars that highlight Italy's devotion to religious artistry. In virtually every Italian town or city, churches play a central role not only as places of worship, but as living museums of religious art and history. Small towns often feature stunning basilicas and chapels that house priceless works of art by renowned painters and sculptors like Michelangelo and Bernini, whose masterpieces can still be found in church interiors today. Italy's churches are more than religious buildings. They are a testament to centuries of faith, artistry, and culture. From the Roman Empire to the Renaissance and beyond, these sacred spaces have witnessed the passage of time and the evolution of religious practice. In 2024, Italy remains one of the top countries in the world with the highest number of churches, 
each one telling a story of its own and preserving the legacy of Christianity throughout the ages. This unique blend of history, art, and religion makes Italy a country where churches are not just buildings. They are the lifeblood of its national identity, connecting its rich past with its vibrant present. Number 7. Brazil Brazil, the largest country in South America, is home to a rich religious tradition, primarily shaped by its deep Catholic roots. Catholicism arrived in Brazil in the 16th century with the Portuguese colonizers, and since then, the faith has flourished across the country. Today, Brazil holds one of the largest Catholic populations in the world, with countless churches dotting its vast landscapes. One of the most iconic religious sites in Brazil is the São Paulo Cathedral, a magnificent structure that represents the heart of Catholicism in the country's largest city. But perhaps the most famous religious site is the Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Aparecida. This basilica is a towering symbol of faith and devotion, recognized as the second largest Catholic church in the world, second only to St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Every year, millions of pilgrims flock to this sacred site, a testament to Brazil's deep religious devotion. In recent decades, however, Brazil's religious landscape has been evolving. While Catholicism remains dominant, Protestantism, particularly Pentecostal and Evangelical movements, has seen remarkable growth. The rise of these churches reflects the changing dynamics of faith in Brazil, with more diversity in religious practices than ever before. From urban centers like São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro to rural areas, new Protestant churches are springing up at a rapid pace. The steady construction of these churches, both Catholic and Protestant, across the country showcases Brazil's ongoing religious expansion. In urban areas, megachurches capable of hosting thousands of worshipers are becoming increasingly common, while smaller congregations continue to flourish in more remote regions. This blend of traditional Catholicism and the growing influence of Protestantism makes Brazil's religious landscape both vibrant and diverse. Brazil's combination of historical significance, architectural wonders, and the modern-day expansion of new congregations solidifies its position as one of the top countries with the highest number of churches in the world today. This thriving and ever-growing religious community is a cornerstone of Brazil's cultural identity, shaping both its past and its future. Number 6. Russia Russia's religious landscape is deeply rooted in the traditions of the Russian Orthodox Church, which continues to shape the country's spiritual identity. Russian Orthodox churches are renowned for their distinctive architectural style, particularly their iconic onion-shaped domes that instantly set them apart from churches in other parts of the world. One of the most recognizable examples is St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, an architectural marvel with its colorful onion-shaped domes that have become a global symbol of Russia. These churches are not just places of worship. They are living historical monuments that reflect the nation's long and complex religious history. Many Russian churches date back centuries and have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the ravages of war, and the challenges posed by political change. The country's religious history includes periods of flourishing faith as well as harsh suppression, most notably during the Soviet era when religion was heavily repressed. However, since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, Russia has experienced a profound religious revival. This resurgence of faith has led to a dramatic increase in the number of churches across the country, particularly Orthodox churches. During the Soviet era, thousands of churches were closed, destroyed, or repurposed for secular use. But the past few decades have seen many of these churches restored to their former glory. The Russian government and Orthodox Church have worked together to rebuild, restore, and consecrate new churches, which has greatly expanded the number of religious institutions across the nation. This revival is particularly evident in major cities like Moscow, where the skyline is increasingly dotted with newly constructed or renovated Orthodox churches. Moscow alone is home to hundreds of churches, from small chapels to grand cathedrals, and remains a hub for religious activity. The rebuilding of the Cathedral of Christ the Savior, 
which was destroyed under Soviet rule and later rebuilt in the 1990s, stands as a powerful symbol of Russia's renewed commitment to its religious heritage. Beyond Moscow, the growth of Orthodox churches can also be seen in other parts of Russia, from St. Petersburg to Siberian cities, as people reconnect with their faith. Today, approximately 70% of Russians identify as Orthodox Christians, and the continued construction of churches reflects the strong and growing demand for places of worship throughout the country. Russia's churches, with their intricate architecture, vivid history, and spiritual significance, embody the perseverance of faith across centuries of turmoil and change. In 2024, Russia remains one of the countries with the highest number of churches, with its religious landscape continuing to expand as new generations embrace the rich traditions of Russian Orthodoxy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Number 5. France France, a country deeply rooted in Roman Catholic tradition, is renowned for its awe-inspiring cathedrals and churches that have stood the test of time. For centuries, these structures have not only served as places of worship, but also as monumental symbols of France's rich cultural and religious history. One of the most iconic landmarks is the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Known for its breathtaking Gothic architecture, Notre Dame has been a central figure in many historical events, including royal coronations and national celebrations. Its towering spires and intricate designs make it a symbol of French identity, drawing millions of visitors each year. Similarly, the Basilica of Sacré-Cœur, perched high on the hill of Montmartre, is a striking example of Romanesque architecture and offers panoramic views of Paris, making it both a spiritual and cultural landmark. Churches in France have played pivotal roles in shaping the country's identity, with some serving as the sites of royal marriages and key national events. Beyond their religious significance, these churches have become deeply ingrained in the French cultural landscape. The architecture of these buildings, ranging from the imposing Gothic facades of cathedrals to the more subdued Romanesque chapels, reflects the artistry and craftsmanship that has defined French history for centuries. However, France's religious landscape is evolving. While Catholicism remains a dominant force, Protestantism has steadily grown, with new churches emerging in various regions. This shift reflects the increasing diversity in religious practices throughout the country. In recent years, there has been a rise in Protestant congregations, particularly in areas that have seen demographic changes and greater religious diversity. In addition, France's approach to secularism, known as laïcité, has significantly shaped the nation's relationship with religion and its churches. This policy of strict separation between church and state means that while churches are essential parts of French heritage, they also operate in a unique context where religious influence is kept separate from government affairs. This secular outlook has turned France's churches into more than just places of worship, they are key players in preserving the country's cultural heritage and identity. Today, with hundreds of churches and cathedrals scattered across its cities and countryside, France remains one of the leading countries in the world when it comes to its number of religious landmarks. These structures not only represent France's Catholic past, but also reflect the growing diversity of faiths in the country, ensuring that churches will continue to play a central role in both the spiritual and cultural life of France for generations to come. Number 4. Philippines The Philippines, as the only predominantly Christian nation in Asia, is home to an impressive number of churches, many of which have deep historical roots. Catholicism, which remains the dominant religion, was introduced to the archipelago by Spanish missionaries in the 16th century. This legacy of faith is still seen in the countless churches across the country, many of which date back to the Spanish colonial period. One of the most iconic religious sites in the Philippines is the Manila Cathedral, located in the heart of the capital city. First built in 1571, the cathedral has been destroyed and rebuilt several times due to wars and natural disasters, yet it remains a symbol of resilience and faith. Its grand structure and intricate design reflect the strong Spanish influence that shaped the country's religious architecture. Another major religious landmark is the Basilica of Santo Niño in Cebu, 
one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. Built in the 16th century, it houses a revered statue of the Santo Niño, Holy Child, which is considered the oldest religious relic in the country. The Basilica is a focal point for religious festivals, particularly the Sinulog Festival, a colorful and vibrant celebration that draws millions of devotees every year. In the Philippines, churches are more than just places of worship. They are the center of community life. From religious celebrations to family gatherings, churches play an integral role in the social fabric of Filipino society. Major religious holidays such as Christmas and Easter see churches filled to capacity as families come together for mass and prayer. Additionally, Town fiestas in honor of local patron saints are celebrated with masses, processions, and communal feasts, making churches the focal points of these lively events. While Catholicism remains the predominant faith in the Philippines, accounting for nearly 80% of the population, the country has also seen a rise in Protestant and other Christian denominations in recent decades. This growing diversity is reflected in the increasing number of Protestant churches across the country, particularly in urban areas. The expansion of different Christian denominations shows the evolving nature of faith in the Philippines, even as Catholicism remains deeply entrenched in the national identity. The churches of the Philippines are not only historical landmarks, but also vibrant symbols of the country's enduring faith. Whether it's the ancient colonial cathedrals or the newer Protestant churches, these religious spaces continue to be the spiritual and cultural hubs of Filipino life. In 2024, the Philippines proudly holds its place as one of the top countries with the highest number of churches, with these sacred places remaining central to the hearts of its people. Number 3. United Kingdom the United Kingdom is home to a profound Christian history, with its religious roots primarily tied to the Church of England and Roman Catholicism. The country's churches not only serve as places of worship, but also stand as symbols of heritage, culture, and national identity. Among the most renowned religious sites in the UK are Westminster Abbey, Canterbury Cathedral, and St. Paul's Cathedral. These iconic landmarks are much more than religious buildings. They are also major tourist attractions, welcoming millions of visitors annually. Westminster Abbey, for example, has hosted numerous royal weddings, coronations, and national ceremonies, making it a centerpiece of the UK's religious and cultural history. Similarly, Canterbury Cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, holds deep historical importance as the seat of the Archbishop of Canterbury, the spiritual leader of the Church of England. The United Kingdom's religious landscape has evolved dramatically over time, particularly since the English Reformation in the 16th century, which led to the creation of the Church of England. This pivotal moment in history not only separated England from the Roman Catholic Church, but also established the Anglican faith as a dominant force across the country. Today, Anglican and Catholic churches remain prevalent, with their roles extending far beyond religious services. These churches are often central to national ceremonies, including royal weddings, state funerals, and other significant events that mark the rhythm of British life. In addition to the grand cathedrals, smaller local churches play an essential role, particularly in rural communities. These churches are vital centers for local gatherings and social life, fostering a strong sense of community among residents. Whether it's a Sunday service, a local festival, or a charity event, these smaller churches help maintain the fabric of everyday life in towns and villages throughout the UK. Despite the UK's growing secularism, the presence of these religious buildings continues to have a lasting impact on both the cultural and architectural landscape of the country. With an extensive network of both large cathedrals and smaller parish churches, the UK remains one of the countries with the highest number of churches, blending history, faith, and community life in a uniquely British way. Number 2. United States The United States is one of the most religiously diverse countries in the world, and this diversity is reflected in its vast number of churches. As home to a wide variety of Christian denominations, 
The U.S. ranks high among countries with the most churches, with millions of Americans regularly attending religious services across the country. Protestantism is the dominant branch of Christianity in the United States, and it includes a broad spectrum of denominations such as Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, and non-denominational churches. These churches range from small, local congregations in rural towns to large urban parishes. Many of these churches have deep roots in American history, with some dating back to the colonial period when religious freedom was a driving force for European settlers. In modern times, the United States has seen the rise of megachurches, which are large congregations that often serve thousands of attendees every week. These massive churches, particularly prevalent in states like Texas and California, offer extensive services that go beyond traditional worship. With state-of-the-art facilities and live-streamed services, megachurches have adapted to the digital age, drawing in both local attendees and global online audiences. Beyond weekly services, churches in the U.S. are deeply embedded in the fabric of community life. They serve as venues for community events, charity initiatives, and social services, making them more than just places of worship. From hosting food drives to providing disaster relief, American churches often act as vital support networks for local communities. This social aspect of church life is particularly important in rural areas, where churches frequently serve as the primary gathering place for residents. The religious landscape in the U.S. is not only vast, but also evolving. While Protestantism remains dominant, the country's religious diversity continues to grow. The U.S. is home to a wide range of Christian denominations, and the increasing number of non-denominational churches reflects a shift towards more flexible, less traditional forms of worship. These churches often appeal to younger generations who seek a more modern approach to faith. In both urban and rural settings, churches remain a cornerstone of American life, representing not just spiritual centers, but community hubs that address the needs of their members. The rise of megachurches is one of the most visible trends in recent years, showcasing the increasing scale and influence of religious services in the country. The United States continues to be one of the leading countries in terms of the number of churches, with its religious institutions playing a prominent role in shaping both individual lives and broader society. Whether it's through the local Baptist church in a small town or a 10,000-member megachurch in a major city, American churches are as diverse as the country itself, reflecting a rich tapestry of faith and community engagement. Number 1. Nigeria Nigeria, Africa's largest and most populous country, tops the list for having the highest number of churches in 2024. Christianity, one of the two dominant religions in Nigeria, has witnessed rapid growth, particularly through the rise of Pentecostal and Evangelical movements. These religious traditions have sparked a surge in church building across the country, especially in urban and rural areas, leading to thousands of new churches being established in recent decades. A key factor behind Nigeria's vast number of churches is the success of megachurches, which draw massive congregations and play a central role in the country's spiritual life. Two of the most influential examples are the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, and Winner's Chapel. These churches are renowned for their enormous worship spaces. Winner's Chapel, also known as Faith Tabernacle, holds the record for one of the largest church buildings in the world, with seating for up to 50,000 people. The redeemed Christian Church of God, with its sprawling redemption camp, attracts millions of worshipers during its annual conventions, where attendees often fill vast open spaces and halls dedicated to large-scale religious gatherings. In addition to these megachurches, smaller Pentecostal and evangelical churches are flourishing across Nigeria, especially in the southern regions where Christianity is most deeply rooted. The spread of these congregations has become a key feature of Nigerian life. Churches in Nigeria are not merely places of worship. They are also deeply embedded in the country's social structure. Many churches provide essential services, such as education, health care, and social welfare programs, reflecting the influential role of religion in Nigerian society. One of the driving forces behind this religious growth is the dynamic nature of Nigeria's preachers and religious leaders. 
Many of these pastors command large followings, using television, social media, and mass events to spread their message and expand their congregations. Their energetic preaching, combined with promises of spiritual and material prosperity, has resonated with millions, leading to the rapid construction of new churches to meet the ever-growing demand for worship spaces. Nigeria's religious diversity also contributes to the proliferation of churches. While the southern part of the country is predominantly Christian, religious groups from various denominations coexist, adding to the sheer number of churches spread across the nation. In cities like Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt, new churches continue to spring up. While in more rural areas, smaller congregations gather in makeshift or modest structures, highlighting the widespread influence of Christianity across all levels of Nigerian society. Despite Nigeria's growing population and various economic challenges, the expansion of Christianity shows no sign of slowing down. Churches remain a crucial aspect of Nigerian life, with congregations playing a key role in community support, charitable activities, and personal development. The sheer scale of church growth in Nigeria ensures its position at the top of the global list for the highest number of churches in 2024, a reflection of the nation's deep religious fervor and the central role faith plays in shaping Nigerian identity. From vast megachurches hosting tens of thousands of worshipers to smaller local churches that serve as the heart of their communities, Nigeria's religious landscape is vast and continuously evolving. This rapid growth is not just a testament to the country's faith-based commitment, but also reflects the dynamic and vibrant role of churches in the everyday lives of millions of Nigerians. The countries mentioned above each possess a distinct religious landscape shaped by their unique histories, cultures, and social contexts. The churches in these nations are more than just places of worship. They are powerful symbols of religious devotion, community unity, and architectural grandeur. As Christianity remains one of the world's largest faiths, the significance of churches in 2024 is as strong as ever. They continue to serve as spiritual havens and cultural landmarks, bringing people together through shared faith and tradition. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future content.